had to go get me some money. I had to go get me some money. I had to go get me some money. Go get that cash. Run up a check. Run up a check. Run up a check. Hey. Secure the bag. Secure the bag. Go get the cash. Go get that cash. Run up a chip. Run up a chip. And never look back. Don't never look back. Secure the bag. Go get that money. Go get that cash. Run up the chip. Run up a chip. And never look back. Hello, welcome to Money Mondays, Secure the Bad Money Talks. I am Wakina, aka Y, also known as Itty Bitty, and I'm your host along with This is Danny Mills. And I am Antoine Payton, Antoine the Credit Fizzle, your credit consultant. Okay, great. So he's our guest for our first show today. And we're going to get started talking about what is important, which is credit. Yes, credit. You got to have it. Mm-hmm. Definitely got to have it. So just to tell you guys a little bit about the show. So it's Secure the Bag Money Talks, like Joaquina was saying. This month and every month, we're going to have a topic. So our month this month is going to be the millionaire mindset. So any type of traditional views that you may have that are incorrect, we're definitely going to clear that up for you so that you can secure the bag. Mm-hmm. So the purpose of the show is to educate you guys on finance. I also talk about business and how you can take if you have a small business and bring it to a bigger business. Sometimes even people have business they're not aware of, like doing hair, selling products right at the house. You can turn it to a legitimate business and make a lot of money. So we're going to show you how money works and how you can make it work for you. So the first thing that we're going to talk about involving credit is that credit is definitely an investment. Most definitely is an investment. You most definitely want to have your credit score up to where you need it to be so you can able to be an invest whatever it is that you want to invest in, no matter if it's a car, no matter if it's a, a house, yes, uh, no matter what it is, you most definitely want that credit score. Up like that. And so what we definitely mean by credit is an investment is that credit is not free ever. So no matter if you have negative items on your credit and you take them off your credit for what you believe is free, credit is not free. I wish. So we're going to (laughs) talk about the different things that credit is not free. Okay, so the one um, misconception that people have is that paying your bill off before it's due each time and never paying any interest on your loans that you have or your credit cards that you have is a good thing. Most definitely, man. That's that's not true at all. That is a misconception. You want to make sure that you pay your bills on a regular basis on time, but you don't want to pay it off real quick because they want to see that history end up. You want that history involved when it comes to that credit score and that credit report. Definitely. And what a lender is looking for. So would you ever lend? Okay. Would you lend me five thousand dollars and then I give you five thousand dollars back? (laughs) <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Negative. I mean, if you're a bank and that's your business, how are you going to make any money that way? You won't. And so, therefore, they don't have you. If you buy, if you loan out 5000 I give you 5000 something's got to come back to me. That's right. What's the purpose of my business if I'm just getting back what I put in? Mm-hmm. Right. So, if you want lenders to look at you as beneficial to them and approve you with a higher approval rate, you do have to pay some interest. Once again, credit is not free. That's right. So um, if you do have some negative things on your credit report, which some of you guys might not even know what your credit score is or what's on your credit report. So actually, yeah, let's tell them some places they can look that up. So first thing you can always do, everybody has the right. It's a legal right that you get a free copy of your credit report every year. You can go to annualcreditreport.com and get all three credit bureaus to see what your report is. So, therefore, you need to know what's on there. That's the start. That's right, man. Most well, I looked on mine. There was, like, some hospital bills and some, some cable bills from, like, 12 years ago. You still paying charter. Oh, we're not going to talk about charter. <laughs> we're not going to talk about charter. We are not going to talk about charter. I'm yeah. talking about, I think maybe my parents put something on my credit. They did that to y'all. No. Well, my mama didn't, but I do know some people who have. Shoot, man. My mama don't come. We come straight from the hood. <laughs> Let's keep it all the way, honey. We come from the hood. Mama would have furniture all in my name. You know, you name it. We had that on there. Most definitely. So definitely you had something on there when you was a child, 12 years. Dispute that. I mean, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, how long how long can you possibly have something in your name? You don't pay for it more than once over and over again. So you need to know what's on there, what's legitimate, what's not legitimate. And if it's not yours, dispute it. That's right. Exactly. That's right. I like what Wai said. She said freeannualcreditreport.com. You can most definitely get everything on your credit report from that site. 
and it's free. You know, that's that's big word right there. F R E E. Also, uh, Credit Karma is real good with, with the reports. They suck at the scores because yeah. the scores be way off. Oh. But <laughs> that report, you most definitely get that stuff. You see all the stuff on your the credit report with that uh, Credit Karma. One um, that I like to use is Equifax. Um, if you live in South Carolina, most likely they'll pull your Equifax score. The credit bureau that they choose is based on your location. So depending on what state you're in, they might use a different one. But if you are in South Carolina, Equifax is the one that they mainly use. So you can get an Equifax account straight directly through Equifax and you can monitor your score through them as well. No doubt. And I actually have an account with them, which is really good. It's $19 a month, but one thing you can do on there is you can see all three credit bureaus at any time. You can see your credit score. Mm -hmm. They even have several programs where you can lock your credit. So if someone tries to run it, like maybe your cousin trying to put something in your name, you get that alert. That's it. (laughs) And I was not trying to open up no Dillard's card. Come on now. (laughs) Who you calling? Who who done did this? I know you did it, (laughs) cuz. So definitely make sure you look into that, because if you lock your credit score, anytime somebody try to run it and you didn't approve it, you get that alert sent to you. That way you're like, no, that wasn't me. So that way you can make sure nobody put nothing in your name anymore. That's right. Right. So monitoring your credit is key because you don't want to spend money on your credit and then you don't know what's on your credit. Okay. So the next thing um, that people don't understand about credit is, y'all, credit is a game. Stop thinking that, oh, you're rich if you have a good credit score. There's broke people with a good credit score. Mm-hmm. There's rich people with a bad credit score. It's so let's keep it 100 on that. That's right. So credit is definitely a game. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, I'm telling you, it really is a game, but you got to know how to play that game. Now, you most definitely got to know how to play that game. And it's a way that it can be played to the max, to the fullest, to your advantage. So you most definitely want to know how to play it. And we're going to give you some tips on playing that game along with them. So one tip is who likes to max out their credit card? You ain't got to be ashamed. Come on. You You might want to raise your hand. I like to. I'm a budget news to Yeah, she, hey, she, she, <laughs> I know she tight with it. Buddy. I'm real tight with the name. <laughs> Ain't nothing no, wrong with it. It doesn't matter if you are tight with it or if you're not, you can max out your credit card despite mm-hmm. what you may think. The whole purpose or point about that is you don't max out your credit card before it reports to your credit. That's right. So you need to know your reporting date That's for right. each item, each loan, each credit card, That's everything. Right. You need to know your reporting dates. So that you can have it looking the way that you want it to report on your credit before it reports. And then after that, you got 30 days to do whatever you want to do. But then you need to know when to go ahead and dress it up for the credit report. But make sure you got the money to to pay. Girl, come on. Because you mess it out and then you try to catch that next report and that you ain't got it. That's right. right. And that's what a lot of people feel short at, y'all. They they max out them cards and they don't have the money to pay it back. You better have that money. You better know that you got that money don't to do pay your car back. She got you know money. I mean? <laughs> so don't do it, Danny. Why everyone think I got money? I ain't got no money. I'm using OPM. Hey, that's how you got to do it. We're going to talk OPM. about that, too. We're going to talk about OPM. OPM. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but most definitely, man. Who boyfriend pay their bills? That's OPM. Come on, now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> Y'all not ready. But, All right. um, and uh, hold on. Let me talk a little bit more about that matching now. Make sure that that balance is way below 30%. I know mm-hmm. a lot of people say 30%. But you want to make sure that uh, balance is at 10%. You know what I mean? Meaning that if you done maxed out that card, it's a $1,000 card. You want to make sure that balance is $100 by the uh, due date or by the time they report it. Right. Right. Before the reporting date, you want to make sure that's under 10% for excellent. Mm -hmm. And then most lenders look to make sure that it's under 30%. Most definitely. And um, despite what you guys may think, you can have hospital bills, um, different types of loans, repossessions and things on your credit. But if your credit card is maxed out, that can take you down from anywhere to 40 to 100 points. That's right. So sometimes you guys don't actually need credit repair. You just need to pay your credit card. That's it. Most of right. Them. Now, if you do get credit repair, we can take anything negative off of your credit. But if you don't pay those credit cards down, you still will not have the score that you're looking for. That's right. So it'd be a waste of time while we take it off that negative stuff and you still got maxed out cards. Right. Okay. And then I just want to tell them a little bit so... Building credit and repairing credit is two different things. Some people pay a credit repair company or a person to take all the negative items off of their credit, and then they still don't have the score they want. So Repeat that again. (laughs) Okay, so people will pay credit repair agencies or a person to take negative items off of their credit, have no negative items on their credit, but still do not have the score that they want. Yeah. So let me put it to y'all. If you don't look at your credit report... Mm -hmm. 
and then you just go jump and go pay somebody to repair it. It might not need to be repaired. You paying for something, you're not gonna get what you're looking for. You're looking for a credit score to increase, That's right. but they can't increase your credit score because right. you don't have nothing on there. You just need to get a card, right. build your credit. That's you just need right. to build it because you so, wasted your money. You wasted your money right. if you do that. You want to have something positive on your credit report. Uh, and if you ain't got nothing on there, you paying somebody to restore it. You ain't what you restoring. You ain't restoring so. nothing but the right. So if you're gonna pay, <laughs> okay. right? If you're gonna pay, you want to make yeah, sure that you're making your money work for you. So you want to make sure you're putting your money into the right avenue to get what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And a key secret: they ain't gonna look at all that for you. It's mm -hmm. a business. That's right. So be smart about your money. Right. That's if you right. say you want your credit repair, that's what they're gonna do. They're not gonna tell you what you actually need to do unless you come to a consultant like us at DT Financial Group or Antoine. We will definitely consult you because we want to make sure that you're getting ahead and the most for your money. So mm. um, also about building your credit, there's things that you can do to build your credit. So let's say um, you're 30 years old, you're trying to buy a house and you didn't know that those past 10 years you could have been building your credit. So what do you do about that? So what you can do about that is get a trade line. Mm -hmm. That's something that you can do with a history attached to it. So people think that trade lines are illegal. Trade lines are not illegal. Mm -hmm. Trade lines are definitely very yeah, legal. Look, now you can get scammed and someone can tell you that they're going to give you a trade line that is an unauthorized account and just give you like a dead person's trade line or something like that. Now that's not what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Do we're talking research. about being an authorized user. That's so I'm right. going to explain that to you real quick. So if Joaquina has excellent credit, let's say she got an 800 credit score. Mm -hmm. So she has an American Express card mm -hmm. with a $15,000 balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have no credit cards at all. This is the scenario. So let's say um, I tell Joaquina that Joaquina is going to help me out. So what she does is she will add me, my name, and my social as an authorized user That's onto her American Express card. And then legal. the next time that it reports... It will report with my name attached on it. So it will report on both my credit and then also her credit. That's legal. And then that will actually boost your credit score. I did that with one trade line. It boosted mine for 80 points. It boosted it 80 points in the first month. It continues to boost it each month because each month is showing that, hey, you have more payment history. So mm -hmm. it's going to continue to increase your score. That is definitely very legal to do. Now, when you do this, don't be doing it for everybody. Make sure you do this for somebody you want to help out. Because right. you don't want to be damaging yourself. That's now, right. you don't want to do it with someone that likes to max out their card That's either. Because right. if they yeah. max out that card, it's going to pay mine. So if you max out that card, you know, and then that's going to go on your credit, too. So whoever you're whoever that you're dealing with to be an authorized user on their account, you want to make sure that they're actually going to keep that paid under 10 percent. Well, also, if they don't use the card at all, that is not going to help you. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a credit card mm -hmm. for a reason. That's right. It means they want you to use it. And they want you, you to actively use it. Right. right. And some people realize they'll have a credit card and never use it. And you'll see that your credit score may drop. It's because you're not using the credit. They don't see any type of reflection that you're using what they're giving you. You don't have any buying power. Okay. So at that point, you become useless to them. And after so many months, they will actually decline, cancel out your car. Even mm -hmm. though you did nothing wrong, you wasn't using it because mm -hmm. they want you to use it. That's yeah. how they get paid. That's how they get paid. Man. Right. Credit yeah. is a business. These credit bureaus are in business to make money. They are not a non-for-profit agency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? Definitely. Yeah, that's right. But you most definitely want to keep that thing active just like they said. I pick it back on all that. You most definitely do. Get some gas. Get a little groceries. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can do, like let's say you don't have any credit cards and you don't have a score to actually get approved for a credit card. So along with getting a trade line, one of the things that we always suggest is to get a secured Capital One card. Mm -hmm. So what that's going to do, they're going to require you to make a $49 down payment and they'll give you around a 200 credit card. Yes, as soon as you start to use that and it posts on your credit, your credit score will definitely increase. Most definitely. And guess what? When you're paying on that Capital One card, they'll increase your credit limit eventually. So that $200 could jump to $500 just by you paying on your credit card on time. So that's an awesome thing. And you want that high credit limit. The higher your credit limit is, the the better your score will increase. And make sure you still don't max out this two hundred dollar card. I know two hundred dollars is not mm -hmm. a lot of money, so just get one tank of gas or oh, maybe wow. a, some cereal and some milk. Don't don't get out of <laughs> hand. I know two hundred dollars is not a lot. You buy a pair of J's, it's over with. You don't mm -hmm. max out the card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And if you ain't got two hundred dollars to pay it back, 
then there you go, damaging your credit again. So still you want to have the same responsibility with a $200 credit limit that you would with a 5000 credit limit. No Guys, the key is auto pay. If you forget to pay your bills, you got too much going on like I do, just put everything on auto pay. You never have to Say worry about date. nothing. Say it again because she always got to call me. Why can't it do this for me? Auto <laughs> pay. <laughs> <laughs> like today the 15th, auto pay that thing for the 15th. Right. You know, set that thing up and it automatically drops. You ain't got to worry about it. Or if you like me, I will pay it for the 14th because people be tripping sometimes. Everyone human. Come on. Now. That is so. true. <laughs> so um, another thing that we, that me and Antoine were talking about, also Joaquina was in on it too, um, the Z Black card that we got, we've been talking about, what that's going to do is put a trade line on your credit. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are interested in that and increasing your credit score by um, building your credit, definitely get at me or Antoine about that as well. So now, um, another thing that I want to talk about is who thinks being debt free is good for your credit? And, it could um, be vice versa. Mm -hmm. And a lot wrong. of people still think that. A lot of people still think that. <laughs> wrong. So I like to be debt free. Wrong. If you are not actively, actively using your credit, what will happen is, let's say you pay everything on your credit off and then you wait three more years, you won't even have a credit score. Oh, no. When you go to check That's your credit, long. you will not even have a credit score. Mm. So they want to see that you're actively being able to take care of your bills, pay your payments. They want that you see that you're actively paying and lenders want to see that you're actually making them money. That's right. So don't get it twisted where they just want to get their money back. No one wants to just get their money back. Everyone's in business to make money. Make money, no doubt. No doubt. Okay, so OPM is other people's Others money. Other people's money, baby. <laughs> and that's that what that I want to talk head. about. OPM. OPM. Who uses I OPM? Who's ever used OPM? Yeah, you just heard how excited I got. Who use it on this hair. <laughs> <laughs> Who pay for that hair? My husband. Oh, okay, so that's other people's money. Yes. I pay okay. for my wife's too, you know. <laughs> we got to. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. mm. That is the truth. <laughs> Okay, so to talk about that a little bit, some of you guys may want to start a business, but you don't have the funds to do that. That's perfectly fine because most people do not actually use their own money. It's actually not even good to use your own money because anything can happen and then you'll have a risk. And then actually, instead of increasing your income, what you'll do is lower your credit score and put you behind on your bills if something happens negative with your business. So if you are actually having a business loan or something that is funded to you where you can finance it, um, that will make you able to make lower payments and actually um, get a larger amount of money. So using other people's money is definitely an advantage and you want to take leverage of it. So um, if you were before, you know, using other people's money to pay your bills or buy something that you want, um, now you can turn that into using the bank's money. And it's actually um, a lot easier and less arguments what up? <laughs> she said less arguments. Who you been arguing with? Arguing. Uh, it's like you arguing with? less effort because you don't have to convince anyone yeah. to give you the money. You just go to the bank and you show them and then bam, they give it to you. So it's even better than asking someone. That's so you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. And you got to know how to flip that. What you go invest in to make that money back and some. So you most definitely want to know what you invested in. Have a business plan already laid out. And market yourself, which will be the next show we'll talk about. Yeah. So Marketing. let's talk about what is an asset and what is a liability. Okay, Antoine, you first. So is the BMW that you drive in an asset or a liability? It's a liability. And why is that? Because it's the company's car. <laughs> It's the company's car. A lot of people don't want to say that, but it is. I mean, it's a liability <laughs> because it's coming out of your pocket. It's coming out of the, your check. So... You know, is it making you any money? Not at all. Then it's a liability. It's a liability. <laughs> okay, the house now, that you live in. I do take vacations in. with it. Me <laughs> <laughs> too. You take vacations with it, mom. But go ahead. <laughs> the house that you live in, Joaquina, is that an asset or a liability? A liability. Are but you making any money from that house? Right. Well, no, but I could in my equity later mm -hmm. on as I keep building, paying into it. Are you making any money right now? Are you um, putting in one of the rooms on Airbnb so I can come stay in it when I want to dip out Me my house? Because <laughs> I will. I got two extra bedrooms. Okay, because that's how you can actually turn your residential <laughs> property it, it, into. It, 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 talk. I got some answer, but that's another show. That's another show. Oh, they ain't ready. I just, well, I just want to share this a little bit. Because you said that. I got a homegirl. She renting out both of her rooms. She getting $1,250 a month for both of her rooms. And she's she staying in downtown Greenville. Well, she's staying in Sipsville. 
What kind she, of Sussville? She got a big old house. Though, oh, okay. So, so she killing it. That's the day. That's the asset. That's how you can. Anytime that you yeah. have something that is not making you any money, that's a liability. Mm-hmm. If you, if the car that you're driving, if you want to put it on Uber and you start making money off of it, then it becomes an asset. Then mm-hmm. you can write it off. You can actually write off your car payment. You can write off your insurance. All of that. That's another story. Your we'll get into that. Oil change. Mm-hmm. But your wife was. <laughs> you can actually benefit you can actually benefit from these payments that you're making instead of continuously paying out mm-hmm. right so also um for assets and liability let's say is the clothes you buy asset or liability that you put on your store credit card i don't have no credit cards i'm telling you about that he got the credit cards over there antoine i'm credit card free i got mm-hmm. one but i don't use it who would you say i, don't, I mean you said the clothes I put on. Is it a is it a They're not making it? any money. They ain't making me no money. Tax right off that's about it. Yeah, unless you're a stripper, it ain't making you no money. Making so money. that's past life. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're not putting them on, you're taking them off, but whatever you do with them. They throw the dollars. Yeah, that's a so that's the asset for the strippers. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Secure the bag, have you do it. So so um, now it's actually going to be our intermission because we are going to go into um, a commercial. So we will be right back with you guys and we'll be talking about corporate credit. Let's hear it. We're excited to introduce our upcoming podcast channel, Secure the Bag Money Talks, with your hosts, Danny Mills and my co-host, Joaquina, a.k.a. Itty We're going to be talking about money talks, street talk, and corporate talk. So we'll talk about how you can take your street life into a business. And we'll be talking about investments and corporations and much more, but you'll have to tune in each and every Monday on Money Mondays and watch our show. So... Um, this is Danny Mills and why I write back with you and Antoine the Credit Fixer. Hey, what's happening? So we gave you guys a little bit of tips on your personal credit. So now we're going to get into the corporate side of things and we're going to talk about your business credit. Mm. Okay, so what a lot of you guys may not know is that your business has a social called an EIN number. So it's your employer identification employer number. Employer identification number. And you can actually have a whole separate credit report built to that number. So hey, wait a minute. I never got an EIN. Where I get that from? Oh, well, what you need to do is contact DT Financial Group hey. so that we can register it for you. <laughs> now, if you do like know how that. to do it yourself, you can go to the Secretary of State website for whatever state that you're in and register it on your own. Just don't mess it up because it costs more to fix it than to make it. That's so right. you tell me I can get one for my business I do at my house? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yes, okay. you That's can. Right. And you can then open a business account at any bank. So definitely if you have a business, you haven't got it legalized for whatever reason, you don't know how, there is steps to do that. You can contact one of That's us right. to do so. If you feel comfortable doing your own, you can. But definitely make sure you get your big old your business, excuse me, legalized so that you can step into getting corporate credit. That's right. And that goes for the hustlers too. I know y'all out there, y'all want to change your ways and go legal and get that EIN number, get that LLC. It doesn't matter if you're selling clothes, selling hair, doing nails, doing makeup on the side, whatever it is that you're doing. Lashes, tattoos. People think that, oh, they need to have a certain amount of money before they legalize their business and register it. Or they think that they need to have a building or something before they legalize their business. That is not true. And what you're actually doing by waiting to legalize your business is you're taking away time from yourself that you could be building credit and making yourself um, more revenue and more profitable. Them Jews right though. Pick up them Jews. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Another misconception that people have Um, It doesn't matter if you have a million dollar business, if you have received a $20,000 loan from the bank under your EIN number, if you have credit cards under your EIN number, all of these things. If you have all of these things and you do not have a D and B number, which is a Duns and Bradstreet number, your credit is not being reported anywhere. It's not public and no lenders can see it except the lender you're using. So Mm -hmm. if Wells Fargo approved you for $20,000, you do not have that on your credit report. That means that when Wells Fargo pulls your credit, they'll see the 20,000. If you go to TD Bank, they're not gonna see any of that. Yeah, so right. you have to have a Duns and Bradstreet number in order for your credit to be reported for your business. If you don't have one, you do not have business credit no matter how long you've been in business. That's right, that DNB protects you. It, do, it does protect you, so you most definitely want that. 
And then um, it's public information. So any lender can see what your business is actually doing. And you can actually get approved for more things quickly, you guys, with a business. You can get zero down. You can get low interest rates. You can get higher um, loan amounts and all of that from having a business EIN instead of using your social. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have a mortgage on your credit, you have a car on your credit, and you have a maxed out credit card, it doesn't matter <laughs> if you um, are using your EIN number. None of that will report on your business credit because it's completely separate. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I would suggest for you get into building your business. One thing I always uh, even talk today about a self lender. Are you familiar with that? Have you ever recommend any of your clients to self lender? No, I haven't, but I need to get on it though. Okay. Definitely. Well, self lender is a company that will allow you to get a personal loan, thousand, two thousand, no more than that, where you can make payments into it mm -hmm. to build up your credit, and they report it every month for you, mm -hmm. and you can put on auto pay. So therefore, yeah. you ain't going to forget the payments. And the payments are very low. You can go from 80, 40 to 20, depending on what your loan amount is. But it does help build your credit score, report it monthly for you. And at the end of the period, which is usually 12 months, all the money you paid into it, you get it right back. Mm -hmm. So it's your money that you basically put in a personal loan on, you get it right back. Well, how can you lose that? <laughs> you put the money down and you get all that right back. But that's right back. And your credit score going up. Right. Now, um, don't get confused because I said um, things that you may have debt in on your personal credit will not stop you from getting anything on your business credit. Now, however, you do have to have at least a 700 to 750 credit score mm -hmm. to be approved for business loans on your initial um, loan that you're doing. Come holler at me. We'll get you down. So um, you if down. you are trying to get a business loan anywhere from 50000 and up to a million dollars, however much that you're needing, you do need to have at least a 700, 750 credit score on your personal credit. And what you'll be actually is called um, a personal grantor. So on your first loan, it's not actually going to go on your personal credit. But however, if you fail to pay it, then it will go on your personal credit. Mm -hmm. But you'll use that to build your business credit. And then from then on, you can simply use your EIN number and you won't have to use your social. That's it. So if you're not at that 750 for your personal score, taking the tips of doing the secure core at the self lender, um, paying your payments on time, all of that will get you to that point. But you have to stay on top of it. You can't take a break because right. I know we all fall behind in things. But as long as you stay on that path and doing the right thing, it can get you to where you need to be so you can move into no a corporate credit. No doubt. I know a lot of people want them homes, but you most definitely want that business uh, stuff situated if you do got a desire to have a business because I know a lot of people don't have that desire but if you're one of them then you most definitely want all that that we're talking about right there when they get that 750 credit score because that's considered excellent credit so you most definitely want that so you can get what you need to get on the business side of things and that's how I consider credit building not credit repair so that mm -hmm. is building the secure car making the payments on time the self lender that's building. Mm -hmm. So you got to always focus on building because the more you build, the more you receive back. That's right. Right. And then also, um, if you do want to open a bank account or if, even if you have one account or several accounts, if you don't have an account with a credit union, you definitely need to get an account with a credit union. You can choose whichever one you want, but you definitely need an account with a credit union. But them credit Why? unions are off the chain. Most <laughs> definitely. I love credit unions. I love them. Now, the reason that you do want to use a credit union is one that is a nonprofit agency. Mm -hmm. Number two is they're going to report your credit each and every month on anything that you have with them. It'll be reported to your credit to all three bureaus each and every month. Another reason is they have the lowest interest rate. Oh, yes. That's the key. Lower interest rate. Mm -hmm. Big banks, your money is small compared big to the clients bank. they have. Them, them big banks taxing. I'm not going to lie to you, but you get that credit union, they really want to help you. They're not called a credit union for no reason. So they most definitely want to help you. I'm talking about you get a car, you probably paying $125 a month compared to going to Wells Fargo with these big name brand banks. They go tax you. They go get their money because they that's what they do. Most right. Definitely. A low interest rate would be something that's under 10%. Mm -hmm. If you're paying over 10%, either one, your credit needs repair or building, or number two, you're at the wrong bank. That's right. Right. And most of the time, it's normally the wrong bank. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's normally the wrong bank. And if you're in Greenville, South Carolina, and you've been having issues with getting with a credit union, 
definitely contact Paul Pimpson. That's my big brother. Hey, she had a shout out to big bro. <laughs> he would definitely make sure he plug you in. So that's the plug talk mm-hmm. for today. So if you're in Greenville, well, matter of fact, let's not even say Greenville. Let's just say upstate. Upstate, South In Carolina. upstate. If you have any issues with getting with a credit union, definitely hit up my brother, Paul Pinson. P-I-N-S-O-N. Write He'll take care of you. That's Seriously. our plug talk, so definitely write that down. That's right. Now, if you if you feel like you can't get approved for something, you don't have check stubs, you don't have everything in order, um, you definitely want to hit that plug up. So that's our plug of the week on our plug talk. Definitely um, hit Paul Pinson up for any type of loan that you're trying to be approved for if you feel like you cannot be approved. Now, if you need your credit fixed, Hit up me or Antoine. But if you need to actually get the loan, then you're going to hit up Paul Pinson for that if you're trying to um, get the best rate. That's right. Okay. And so um, another thing that we can talk about is scams that we just want to make you guys aware <laughs> of. But they heavy out though. So um, <laughs> a lot of people have a bad taste in their, their mouth about credit repair, about trade lines, about credit cards and things like that about because anything. they've been scammed. Man, I hate you scam artists. Y'all make it hard for me. Let me say that. That's man. true. And Y'all I think, I feel like once one person have a bad taste of a company or whatever it is, they spread it. They go mm-hmm. on social media. So then they get caravans so to the point the story gets twisted, confused. You add more companies and therefore you miss out yeah. on what's good for you. I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all paying a thousand, twelve hundred dollars to get your credit repair, please don't do that. Scam. Scam. Please though, that's a scam. If somebody taxing you on that, if it's 800 something, that should be a red flag. Because if you got that amount of money to pay it, you could just pay the people, right? That's right. If you pay for credit repair and it comes off your credit and comes back on, you have a scam. That's right. With us, it's straight legal. We got legal credit attorneys that do this, meaning that once it's get deleted off your credit, it stays deleted. If it don't stay deleted, then there's somebody done scammed you because we follow the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That protects all consumers. So most definitely, man. Okay. If someone tells you that for your maxed out credit card that you can pay them half and they're going to make your payment, bruh, you about to get scammed. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, pick them up. <laughs> Sometimes to me, it should be common sense. But if you ever have any questions or anything, make sure you contact one of us because we don't want somebody else to get scammed because when they get scammed then you start having bad taste and you oh. won't listen to us and nobody else oh she gonna call them out on Facebook you yeah. believe that so definitely <laughs> she so definitely you know. make sure you contact somebody ask them and anybody who knows me I get questions all the time I can't know what about this and that and I'll tell you I don't share knowledge it's all the same that's it I get my blessings a different way. Come on. <laughs> right. And now understand when you're being scammed and when you're not. If you don't pay your credit card and your credit drops, it's you scammed scam. yourself. Yeah. Okay. Do not do not think someone scammed you because you're not following directions. <laughs> 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 you're crazy. And it's true. You ain't real talk no more. You gotta follow directions. You I'm gotta be on you, top. I, I see them customers, they do it all the time. Like, man, what my credit's gonna drop? Did you pay your credit card? Nah. Nah, bro. Right. That's why. Right. And now, if we, and if we told you three to five months, and then you didn't pay your credit card that month, and we got to start over, that's three to five months come on, again come on, for you now. now. Now, don't be scammed by not doing math. I'm getting so Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So, you'll see a lot of different scams out there. So, a lot of them is pay a thousand dollars to fix your credit. Sometimes you even see the sign stuck in the ground. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah say you Look, but I want I don't even want to do that now, but too many crooked people out there. But right, I, you gotta, I gotta oh, change my marketing right. strategies. So definitely make sure research things. And I mean, of course, everybody has a smartphone these days. Google stuff. Find out on your you. own. But don't don't get sucked up for nothing when you can it's free knowledge out there. Yeah, Google right. it. Ask yeah, right. somebody. If someone helping you pay your credit cards and you have to contact them through WhatsApp. It's a scam. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nobody ain't doing it. Really, so. yes. I'm trying to tell you, oh, man. I ain't yes. been reading, it man. Read, real. Go, get it's your research. So real. And we laughing, but on, on a serious tip, get that research. Man, get I done this scam. People will play with your money and then make you want to... Um, hey, and they good at it, too. So mm-hmm. I'm convinced it in the mug. And that's why I'm <laughs> tight with my money because I know people be doing it. I don't mm-hmm. have time. I got, go to a legit agency or a legit person, someone that you can Google and contact and meet in person to actually um, take care of your finances. Your finances are a big, important part of your life. Um, anytime that you do make a mistake with them, you're going to have to start all over. So you definitely want to make sure that you're making all your next moves, your best moves when it comes to your finances. No doubt, man. Finances is vital, especially in a marriage. 
I mean, that's the number one reason why people divorce is because they don't have their money straight. So you most definitely want to have those finances <laughs> in order. Definitely secure the bag. That's right. Secure that bag for real. Take that money. Yeah, that money right. This is important. <laughs> this is important. You better have that money right. I know right. I saw a Facebook post the other day said something about um, uh, white women will um, stay around or do this and that for you or whatever. What is that? What was it? You saw it. It was like... Um, <laughs> Kim Kardashian, it was another one. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, but mm. I don't care if I'm white, blue, green. Come on, you better now. have that money. Right. I was about to say, I was, he said, oh, these celebrities or whatever um, didn't have to deal with this, but I do. I was like, because they had their chick right. Mm. Right. The Kardashians already said. No, they they said. Like, if you're a millionaire, you come home late, the conversation would be a little different than if you broke. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> I don't care if you're a millionaire or broken out. Sure. You better have it. Yeah, you better have it right, bro. Because you got, you got a lot. You know. Well, one thing, since we're talking about the Kardashians, did y'all see the um about um the youngest sister? Oh, yeah. Kylie. Yes. No. So, okay. So, we're going to be talking about that next week. We're going to talk all about Kylie. But one yeah, thing that... Right now, no, man. we can't talk about it. <laughs> but one thing that we can touch on is that I just saw that her fans are actually donating money to her to make her America's first youngest billionaire woman. Yeah, and that, she ain't even that far from Who it. donates to millionaires? That's self-made right there. Social media. Boss. Boss. She don't trick y'all. She put... She tricked y'all. Nah, she play, she, she under the age of 20, Wayne. She played that game too. And Richard and all of, everybody in the whole family. Richard and the whole mm-hmm. family. And people that don't want to give her her props and saying that, oh, Stop that's because it. she's Stop famous and this and that. No, the whole point is that you have to go and take your life into your own hands and your own control Social and make media. it work for you. Social media, bro. Social media. Yeah, you know. Right. So yeah. our next show will be on marketing and branding. So you definitely want to tune in for that one. Um, we just want to thank you guys for tuning in with us right now. So um, if you do have any questions about credit repair, contact me or Antoine Payton right here. Antoine, the credit fixer on Instagram. Um, if you have any questions about registering a business or getting a business credit set up, contact me or Joaquina through DT Financial Group. And um, any other questions you have, you can contact us on Facebook. Do not ask me if any of the things I'm doing is legit. If you ask me that, I will block you with no hesitation. <laughs> I won't. Martina won't. I will. So Martina gonna hit block her with you that. too. She hit gonna block you it. too. But no disrespect like that, man. You see what we doing? We, we definitely want to educate you guys in any yes. way that we can, so that you can live the life that you want to live for yourself, your kids, your family, whatever that you're doing it for. So make sure that you secure the bag. It's Money Mondays. Start your week off with a great start, and make sure that you're taking your finances into your own control. That's right. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. Cousins, co-workers, grandbabies. Share with everybody. Share, 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 share right now. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the share button share. wherever Hashtag you're watching it. Secure the bags. Hashtag Money Talks. Money Mondays. That's it. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go get me some money. 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 Go get the cash. Go get the cash. Run up a chip. Run up a chip. Run up a chip. Hey. Secure the bag. Secure the bag. Go get the cash. Go get that cash. Run up a chip. Run up a chip. And never look back. Don't never look back. Secure the bag. Go get that money. Go get the cash. Run up the chip. Run up a chip.